Hi, Zeus here. Today I had a great start to season 27 Heroes of Warships, and I wanted to show you how I did it and how I got to number 166 on the US leaderboard. So you might have noticed I've been a little quiet lately with videos for the past month. I actually had a uh, problem with my right eye and it was making it hard to uh, play a lot. But I'm back. This is the uh, tech tree that I started with this morning. I um, did not max out sniper towers. I did not, not uh, increase uh, riflemen. Mortars was level four. Did not open flamethrowers. I did not uh, open any heroes, even though it's heroes. I got to uh, shock bomb and I got uh, cannons level four, and that, that was enough to, to get me pretty far in to uh, the leaderboard. The, the plan here is to uh, open up the, uh, the multi-node to get two cannons and then the troop damage node. And then I'll go back and open up the cannons of level five and the boom mines to level five. And then I'll open up the building damage to uh, levels two through five. And I'll, I'll probably go back and open up the flamethrower, max out the mortar to level five, open up the mines and max them out, and then max out the gunboat. So that's the plan. Okay, let's uh, take uh, it into combat now. And I'll show you the two metas that I used to get uh, to where I was on the leaderboard. The first meta is uh, all heavy rush, eight landing craft of heavies, and then you flare the heavies through the three engines. In this case, I actually uh, flared a little bit too soon, and I didn't destroy the one um, machine gun and flamethrower there. And along the way, you got to make some choices as to uh, which units, defensive units, you shock, which units you destroy. Obviously, if you take the time to destroy anything, it really slows you down. If you run over a whole bunch of mines, it's gonna really weaken your, your heavies. Uh, so you gotta be really careful. Uh, in some cases, you know, you're just not gonna be able to use all heavy rush. But, uh, you know, where there's not a lot of boom mines and mines, uh, you know, you're, you're gonna be pretty good to go all heavy rush through your opponents. And you know, the goal is just to make sure that the flamethrowers and the cannons and the machine guns, which are really the only things that actually damage your heavies materially, aren't going to um, kill your troops. Um, or the accumulated damage from all that, plus mines and boom mines, aren't gonna kill your troops. So this guy here, you know, having no mines whatsoever is pretty easy decision to go all heavy rush. All right, then um, there's another meta where you've got a much more complicated situation like this, where you've got a whole bunch of boom mines and mines, where you um, use heavies and zookas. And again, there's kind of a judgment call as to you know how the mines are placed and what kinds of mines, how strong they are, as whether or not you use th three boats of heavies and uh, five boats of zookas, or you use four boats of heavies and four boats of zookas. And usually on a delayed basis, you're gonna have to send in uh, either a boat of heavies and zookas or just a boat of zookas to the left engine, which seems to be the one that people kind of uh, don't protect as much. Uh, to clean that up. And, it, and it's kind of a uh, judgment call as to when you land them, you gotta, you gotta be really careful not to land them too early, or otherwise everything's gonna pull to the right, and then you're not even gonna be able to get to the engine. And as my troops take down the last sniper tower and pull to the right, I'm gonna land the, uh, the, other, the other boat. This, this is just Zookas, because I've only got the one sniper tower there protecting the engine on the far left. And you use the, the shocks to make sure that they don't destroy your, uh, the defensive units don't destroy your zookas as you're going through the base. All right.
Now, sometimes with the heavy Zuka meta, you've got a base that uh, looks like this. And what you need to do here is kind of land all eight landing craft sort of in the middle and let them just naturally spread apart and, and take down the base. And they just sort of divide on their own. And um, it works out really well as long as you put shocks down to prevent unprotected Zookas from getting uh, blown away by machine guns or mortars. So that was a, a really fast time on that one with two minutes and 56 seconds left. Now, here's an example of one that I went after with only three boats of heavies and uh, five landing craft azukas, even though it had lots of max level boom mines and mines. Just the way that the, uh, the mines were, were positioned, it looked to me like the heavies were gonna absorb them all and there was enough uh, heavies to deal with that. And I did get uh, some pretty massive losses on the, on the far right side as I was going through that, and that's why my time was a little bit slower, but those, those few Zookas that survived actually managed to wipe out um, pretty much all of the uh, remaining defenses before I got down to the bottom there. Um, and it, it worked out. And with that victory, I worked my way up to number 323 on the US leaderboard. And then I uh, managed to go on a five times win streak. And uh, in that uh, series of battles, I got to level 14. And with that, I got all the way up to 256 on the US leaderboard. And then with some further victories to number 166 on the US leaderboard. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And give us a like on this video. And thanks as always to Hercules for help with the video editing.